Welcome to XAR Template Tutorial Lesson 114 for the XAR Web Designer 9 Premium Software. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to edit the page color and also how to edit the pasteboard color in our web design workspace. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is drag in a pre-designed template from your web design gallery. And if you've watched lesson number 113, you already know how to drag in a full width background from the template section in the designs gallery. So once you have a full width template in your workspace, the first thing that we're going to do actually is click within the page border. In other words, within the vertical lines that you see at the top of, of our page here on the right and left hand side, as long as you're within those two lines, it's going to pick up the page background. So let's go ahead and right click and then go to page background. And that's another thing. You can notice that it's on the page background by looking at what it says in your right click menu. If it says page background, then you know you're within a region that's dealing with your page background. And let's go ahead and go to edit page color. And when you go to edit page color, you'll notice that it says no color. And that's because by default, the page background is set to a transparent color that you would not see. But if we left click on this, we can change the color of that. And if you remember from the previous tutorial in lesson 113, I mentioned that anything within this rectangle, in this case it's a green rectangle, uh, would be visible on your website. So this is going to be your region where you would have all your content, but you don't have to have this here. Okay? But let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like with this page background color change. So go to File and then choose Preview Web Page. And you'll see that it leaves a a color that fills in that page background color but we still have our full width background there as well so you don't lose the values for your full width background because you change the page colors it still stays there so let's go ahead and close this out and I'm gonna go ahead and reset this page background back to a transparent color because I think it looks a little weird to have a page background color when you have a full width pasteboard background so let's go ahead and hit reset for that and it sets it back to a transparent color but if we were to click outside of those two vertical lines, like over here, if I were to right click, you'll see that the option changes to pasteboard background rather than page background. So we now know that we're dealing with the pasteboard background full width. So if we were to go to edit pasteboard color, it brings up a menu for that. And we have two drop down options. We have website backdrop, which is dealing with the main body of the background. And if I were to change that, you'll see that a big chunk of our background changes to a different color okay but I'm gonna set that back to white actually and if we were to click on this again and we go to website backdrop 2 and we were to change the color you'll see that it deals with the top header for our full width background so that's one way that you can change the color if you want to be more precise let's go ahead and close out the color editor go to our page and layer gallery go ahead and lock that panel and let's go ahead and click on pasteboard background and we're gonna unlock that layer so go ahead and hit the unlock option and then expand it so that we can see all the objects that are on that particular layer and then uncheck all these lock options for that particular layer so once everything is unchecked and each each area or each object on that layer is going to be editable um, because we unlock the option over here but after that let's go ahead and click on the top header now and then right click on it and choose fill color and let's go ahead and change that color and you'll see that the smaller rectangle remains the same color but the bigger rectangle is changing and that's because we unlocked every object on that layer so each object is now edited in its own separate state so if I were to click on the smaller rectangle I could change the color of that as well so it's more more opportunity to change the colors when you unlock the layers versus when the layers are locked so you can pretty much change anything if I want to change the main body of the the pasteboard background I left click on it and then I would change the color for that if I wanted to but again I'm gonna set that back to the normal color and if we were to go ahead and preview this in our uh, our software here you would still see that it makes those changes to the pasteboard background okay so that's how you edit colors and if you have any questions please let me know if this tutorial was helpful don't forget to embed comment share subscribe and stay tuned for future tutorials have a great day